uh, you said that we should become Muslim and that Islam has no confusion. Well, if one is not a Muslim, how do we differentiate Islam from the nation of Islam when they say they are Muslims too? What is the difference? There are people in the United States and around the world, around the Western world, men who get sex changes. There are men in America that get their... Oh, got it. I don't know. There are, there are men that get their testicles. <laughs> oh, man. There are men who get their testicles removed. And they go to the doctor and get hormone shots and get breath. And they think and say that they're women. Just because he did that, does that make him a woman just because he said he's a woman? So just because somebody says they're Muslim, that makes them a Muslim? Huh? No. There's some criteria to be a Muslim. Number one, we have to believe in Allah. When a person is a Muslim, he believes in Allah. Okay? Uh, Louis the Liar, Mr. Farrakhan, he says he's a Muslim too. Right? Okay. He says that he believes in Allah. I believe in Allah, he believes in Allah. But how do I believe in Allah, and how does he believe in Allah? The Muslims, those one billion people that we mentioned in the beginning, we believe that Allah is the creator of everything. He's not black, he's not white, he's not a man, he's not a woman, he's not the trees, he's not the stars, etc. The nation of Islam, they believe that Allah was born in the year, in the 18th century, excuse me, the 19th century, Yes, the 19th century, they believe that Allah, the creator who created you, me, everything, that Allah was born. His father was black, named Alfonso, and his mother was a white lady named Baby G. They got together in the hills of Europe, in some caves, some the hills and caves sides of Europe, back in the 1800s, and out came a half-white, slick-head-looking man named Master Farad Muhammad, and he's Allah. That's what Farrakhan teaches. That's one of the main differences, that's one of the main differences between us and them. Alright? We believe in angels. We believe, the real Muslims, we believe that angels are created by Allah, and they help the human being, they do work for Allah, and they help the human being. Some of them move the clouds, they move, they make the rain come down because by Allah's permission, they uh, for, help, they uh, form the baby in the womb of the mother, give the shape and give the color by Allah's power, and they do a lot of other things for the human being. Farrakhan's group, the Nation of Islam, they believe that angels are all black. Right? The real Muslim believes in the Quran, and that's the final revelation for all human beings. And that you don't look to any other book except the Quran and the example of the Prophet Muhammad. Farrakhan's group uses the Bible, the Quran, and some other thing I forgot. Some other book. Fall of America, uh, Our Savior Has Arrived, How to Eat, number, uh, Volume 1 and Number 2. This is what they believe in. The real Muslims believe that after you die, Allah is going to take your dust. Your body deteriorates. It's going to take that dust, make it back into bones, put flesh back on it. You're going to stand up in front of him and answer for everything that you did, all the cash that you earned, where you earned it, and how you earned it, and where you spent it, and a whole lot of other things. You're going to be judged. Farrakhan's group says, no, nah, that's spooky. Don't believe in that. The real thing is that when we die, that's it. That is over Dover, as they say. Alright? And that the real paradise is getting some of this earth that we can call our own and getting rid of the white folks who's the devil. That's Farrakhan's proof. That there's no life after death. Is that enough differences right there? We believe that the devil is created by Allah and we can't see him that he whispers to the human being to do evil. They believe that the white man is the devil. And there's no good in the white man. All of them are devils, even the ones that are not even born yet. You see a white pregnant woman, she's a devil, and that baby that didn't come out of her womb yet is a devil too. That's what Farrakhan believes. 
and there's a whole lot of other things they believe. We pray five times a day facing towards Mecca in the manner that Allah mentions in the Quran. They pray the way Elijah Muhammad taught them to pray. Standing like this with both of their hands up like this. With their red bow ties on, facing some direction, I don't know. Chicago, someplace like that. I don't know. We believe, we believe that Muhammad is the final messenger of Allah. 1400 years ago. They believe that Elijah Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. There's a lot of differences. In, in short, they are not a sect of Muslims. They are not Muslims. I repeat, they are not Muslims. They are not Muslims. And I would rather eat with a Jew or a Christian than to eat with them at the table. They're the enemies of Muslims.